Are you tired of the frustrations caused when downloading all product information for your listings on Amazon? Or maybe you need to make some bulk edits, do some troubleshooting, or pretty much update anything on your flat files such as variations, etc. Um, thankfully, there's a way to download all your product information such as titles, descriptions, bullet points, search terms, or pretty much anything you can include in a flat file right through Seller Central using the category listings report. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Ed here, your flat file expert here at Sunken Stone, and welcome back to the Sunken Stone YouTube channel where we offer tips, tricks, and tutorials to improve your e-commerce strategy, growth, and operations every week, so be sure to subscribe. Just click the red button right below or click on our channel page to see more videos. I'll see you there. Does this sound familiar? You've decided to modify your existing listings on Amazon and you're dreading making the changes. First of all, you have to sign into your Seller Central account make these changes and hopefully you didn't mess up. Maybe you're not sure exactly where to begin or how long it'll take. All you know is that it's time consuming and confusing. Well, I'm Edgar from Sunken Stone and today I'm gonna to show you how to access, enable, and use a category listings report on Amazon. Stay tuned. All right, so now we are here in our Seller Central dashboard. And in order to access the category listings report, all you gotta do is go to inventory, inventory reports. Once you're here, Click this tab and then you'll find the category listings report. Now this isn't available on all accounts. So if the category listings report isn't available for you here, all you gotta do is request um, through support. It's pretty easy. You just go to help and then support. Click on Amazon, browse from the menu. Then you go to product listings or inventory and then investigate other product listings and inventory issues. And then all you have to do is write activate category listings report. Hit continue. It's going to give me an error message because we already have it activated. Um, but once you hit continue, all you have to do is um, add a phone number, email. It'll ask you for some contact information. And you should be able to get access within about, say, 24 hours. Um, so once you've got access, you can go ahead and download your category listings report. Um, you can select all for all categories, get an Excel format, and then just hit request report. Once you hit request report, it'll generate it. it might take a few minutes. Just refresh the page a couple times and you should be able to get access. We can go ahead and start, um, add this to the video. All right, so it seems like the category listings report was generated. All you gotta do is hit download and then you'll get you'll download this Excel file, which should have all your listing info. So let's go ahead and open that up. All right, so this is what it looks like. Um, basically, it looks like a flat file, um, just you know, organized in um, different. The columns are organized differently. Um, the only th one of the important things that th this won't include is um, you know image links, image URLs. You'll still have to like add those in your flat file, um, but you can see here it has your you know product category, the SKUs, brand name, uh, UPC, um, and then product ID type, um, the item names, um, the browse node uh, category, manufacturer, your bullet points, and you know some it's not gonna have the data for everything. Fortunately, but it should have like I would say 80% maybe a little bit more of the data from your listings um, not including the, the images um, So all you would have to do after this is just you know copy and paste the listings that you want to edit onto the flat file um, and if you don't know how to generate or you know, Upload a flat file. I definitely recommend um, taking a look at that video um, it should be linked up here. Uh, I want to add a couple more things. Um, I guess the benefits of the category listing support starting now. And, you know, this is very important because this pretty much, you can copy and paste all this, um, you know, um, essential data or required data that's needed to, you know, make bulk edits onto the flat file. It's also, um, you know, a user friendly way of just viewing all your listing data in a, you know, instead of like clicking through each, um, 
listing directly on seller central that would probably take forever um, you can pretty much see all your listings and get that information modify it you know transfer it over to the flat file upload it and you know make your changes and you're good to go so you might be asking yourself what's your next step well if you really want to cut down on the time it takes to manage your amazon listings i recommend you start using flat file pro where the software makes managing listings a breeze with bulk editing, one-click restores, and nightly backups, what's not to love? Also, if you want, if you really want to level up on your knowledge on flat files, then watch this video next. It's called the Ultimate Amazon Flat File Tutorial in 2022, and you'll learn insider secrets from me and CEO Adam Wheeler on everything you need to know about flat files in 2022. Just click on the video you see on your screen right now. I'm Edgar Garcia, and I'll see you there.